here again and well I've been doing all these different vlogs here and there on my show on this channel I got my own Sean Tolan vlog which I just ran about any, anything I got my movie gallery vlog I used to do in this corner which I rarely do now I did one for this, this uh, a taste testing one and I lately I've been doing a a dear coming out of vlog here on my channel now I want to do something that's kind of new for my vlog it's I'm gonna it's something that I put, it's a little salute to wrestle crap which if you know, do not know what wrestle crap is it's well it's a gimmick storyline match concept that downright sucks you see it over the years well there's stuff that looks good on paper and the execution sucks for example there's a it's I want to, this is my first ever talking wrestle crap vlog and well Halloween is coming up so why not talk about the oh hard the Halloween Havoc pay per view which they played the WCW staple from I think 91 up to its demise in 2001 and there's so many bad matches at Halloween Havoc and there's a couple Halloween Havoc hoaxes that involve Sting which one match involved the world title match at one of the early ones in WCW, but I'm not gonna talk about those matches, those hoaxes, but I want to talk about Hogan Warrior 2. That's right. I'm gonna talk about the long uh, anticipated sequel to Hulk Hogan vs. the Late Ultimate Warrior legendary match from WrestleMania 6. It's been eight years and a couple months since that match and well how it was built up for that match a little we were playing mind games during that match during the to the that match was pretty good playing play a little game to Hogan's head and they had a couple matches one match was at Fall Brawl, which was the previous pay-per-view, but in, in, they had War Games, which, which was a pretty good concept before that the 1998 version of War Games, which will be coming up in a future episode, mind you. And that after that match, they had they were, the develop was continuing for Hogan Warrior 2. Hogan Warrior took over took Hogan's right hand man, the disciple who if you if you know the European history that and Leslie aka Bruce the Barber Beefcake, Hulk Hogan's real life buddy, and how they executed Hogan Warrior Two was downright bad. It was one of the worst matches ever. Hogan cinches eyebrows with a flash paper, so they had to go to Plan B, involving Hogan's only a few coming in, smacking Hogan Warrior with a chair, and oh, in that match, some pe some after Megs well put put that match as the Warrior th that year's worst match of the year and well and also a little bit worse said that 
his greatest match was against Hulk Hogan and his worst match was against Hulk Hogan and I agree with him on that and help uh, and Ultimate uh, Warrior himself had three good matches at WrestleMania Rick Rude Watcher Man Larry Savage at WrestleMania 7 and Hulk Hogan and the other two matches that he had at WrestleMania WrestleMania 4 against the her, the Mighty Hercules and WrestleMania 12 against uh, Triple H. That oh my God, I'm going to see detail because this is up. This is the the Hogan Warrior 2 at, at Hardcore at Halloween Havoc 98 in Hell. On the on the subject, I talked about the the War Games from Fall Brawl 98. You know what? Well, instead of waiting for another episode for this, I'm going to talk about that match, which has never been inducted in, into WrestleCraft.com yet, and I'm going to talk about it right now to, to all you people who don't know what about WrestleCraft, I mean, the War Games, and that match. Okay, War Games is pretty easy. You have two teams, five a piece, five on each side. Sometimes they had four people, sometimes they had five, and it serves two people wrestling for five minutes. And if, after that moment, they have a the referee flips the coin. The winning team who calls it in the air sends it in. One or third until it goes back and forth every two minutes until every team member is in, and then until until every member of the team is in, you have to win by submission, knockout, or if the manager throws in the towel. It's pretty simple, huh? Then comes. War Games 98. Instead of the traditional way I said, they had three teams of three. We had the NWO, Black and White, they had Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, and Stevie Ray. Team 2, NWO Wolfpack, they had Kevin Nash, Sting, and Lex Luger. And earning out with Team WCW, DDP, Roddy Piper, and the ultimate warrior. In this version, they just said no knockout, no or no forfeiture, but they include pins. Yeah, freaking pins in a match. It's called Beyond the, the Match Beyond. There and. Uh, and that match, or uh, the win, and the person, they had a little stipulation to the match, which the person who calls the pin, does the pinfall or submission, gets a title shot. And I don't know who in WCW thought that was a brilliant idea, should be fired on the spot, you see, because in the early ones, once it didn't happen. We're looking at four horsemen against the superpowers of the Kid Co-op and the late Deathstroke and the real warriors Hawk and the late Animal. I mean, Animal and the late Hawk. And we had Steam Squadron versus the Dangerous Lions. And heck, those matches are classics. And that, and the, and that match at uh, Fall Brawl '98, that was this, that was just wrong on so many levels. You see, as a fan of that kind of stipulation of a, a war game, 
you should not change the rules on a whim. And heck, uh, on a later episode, I'm going to talk about another match which I think may wrestle crap, but I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it maybe about a couple of episodes from now, but right now I'm going to end this vlog saying that the second Hogan, Hogan border match downright sucked. Should have done, done the way it was. And the War Games 98 downright sucked. Because of the change in the rules and how many teams they were in. And this is Malcolm Sean Beatman signing off.